A lot of you guys have been requesting a Fallow Deer guide for quite some time now, and of course Fallow Deer have some of the coolest looking diamonds in the game, and until geese are fixed on console, they're probably the best money making animal in the game as well, so it makes sense. Now I've had some Fallow Deer hunting success in the past, but I definitely don't know all there is to know about Fallow Deer hunting here on Te Aoroa, so I've brought in a Fallow Deer hunting expert with over 2,000 Fallow kills and 20 plus Fallow diamonds here on the map. My girlfriend Kyla. Okay, so it's been requested for a fallow guide, and the last time um, I attempted to do this, it messed up, and the audio wasn't working. So fingers crossed um, that this works. So pretty much when I was doing my fallow grind to really get a big rare fallow, I found a bunch of diamonds, and I don't mean to flex. I just promise I don't. I just want to help. I see a lot of people still asking about Fallow, which is pretty cool since a new map is out for PC, but you know, console struggles. We're figuring that out as well. So, here are my hot spots and where I like to go for Fallow. Technically, I always set the time at 9 12 because 12, and then a little bit before noon because usually they start moving around now my favorite spot if you can't tell is this lake i've gotten most of my diamonds here and when i say most i have 21 diamonds i can tell you i've gotten at least like 12 or more from here not even joking and then right after there i'll switch to these lakes so as you can tell literally all fallow pretty nice that there's close by and then the inlet's been really good to me as well. Um, a lot of people like the river and it's a little congested. So yeah, I suggest getting tents. As you can see, there's tents all around. So it's easy to move. So you don't have to go from the outpost and forever walk because that's annoying. And usually they're all just spread apart. You've got the river, you've got the inlet, you've got this lake, you've got these two lakes. I call them puke lakes because, you know, why not? <laughs> and then I call this boomerang lake. Now, I have only gotten one diamond here, and it was chilling here. And I had a troll here, and it was chilling here. So, gross. But it is what it is. And then I've gotten, I think, maybe two diamonds throughout this I want to say place now <laughs> throughout this little um, area. So I call them lighthouses. They're just the, um, the lookout points. But sometimes you can start here and go all the way down. I've kind of killed some of the zones so they've moved. Um, but usually I'll just go through and literally just go all the way through. And I haven't had bad luck on it, honestly. In the middle, I had my biggest fallow, and that was a 272. So, I mean, they're there. You just gotta find them. They're just hiding somewhere. My best advice to shoot with for the fallow, depending. I've shot them with the 300 because I didn't want them to run because render props for console. I usually shoot them with the 303. And then, or m1 it just depends on how i'm feeling like the m1's usually for it's easier to shoot them all when they're all right next to each other and then i don't have to worry about the recoil and such but i guess let's just go take a look shall we also me playing pc is <laughs> as you can tell a little rough at times because i'm not used to it yay I did kind of kill some zones, so it wouldn't surprise me if some of them have moved. Because why would they want to stay after I slaughter them all? I mean, you know, a little rough, but it's fine. It's fine. They always come back. Bigger, smaller, and then they'll come back in general. Like, that was a three last time I shot it, and now it came back a four. So, we're just gonna pop him. I can um, spot. Pop and go, pop and go. They're actually really easy to grind for. I don't have the best of luck getting rares. I don't know why. I've shot over 2,000 of them, and minus whenever I got the map and I had just an albino chilling with me, um, all I've gotten <laughs> out of 2,000 kills is a very small pie ball. 
So, maybe your luck is better than mine. Maybe my map just wanted to give me diamonds and no rares. Now, as you can tell, um, I'm using Flinter's map, but he has tripods and such like that. Uh, when I was doing my grind on Xbox, I don't use tripods. I don't own them. So you can literally make do with just tents and pop out wherever you are and then just kill them and go. Literally, just shoot them right past the shoulder. Should do well, should drop them depending on the weapon you're using. And pick them up and go. And reset the time and go again and go again. And just let me know. Um, I'm always, you know, reading the comments in Flinner's YouTube videos or in streams. I love to see that people are actually getting diamond fallows or when they're getting rares. So that's about it. It's pretty short and sweet, I must say. It doesn't take much time to do this, you know. Nothing crazy. Okay, so we're cruising along the lighthouses, right? And look at that. He's so cute. <laughs> no diamond here, but he's adorable. If Rocky gets in my way, I might be a little upset. All right, hold on. It's a little alert. Got him pretty good. Nice. So I thought we'd be due for a diamond because I've gotten so used to doing fallow runs and knowing when a diamond's usually going to show up. But a rare works too because it takes me so long to get a rare on my map. And of course, you know, I'm not playing on my map and a rare shows up. So even though it's probably small, it's still a cool find, I'd say. It's better than seeing all these dang commons. Gross. All right, slowly but surely, we'll get there. I promise. <laughs> look at him, how cute. And Rocky's like, look at me, look what I did. Nice, I'm still silver, but I like him. Too cute. I like it. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright. Let me tax it even though it's frowned upon when they're under when they're silver and under. Shh. He's not here to tell me no. And yeah, so pretty much I'm gonna summarize this whole thing. Ready? Alright. Best spot. Best spot. Pop a tent there. If you can't, just walk there, I suppose. Puke Lakes, the river for sure, inlet for sure. I've had some of the best herds in the inlet. Boomerang Link, and in between the lighthouses, and this is where we got that guy. So that was a zone. And that's it. Let me know what you find out there, and hopefully, it's something cool. All right, bye. All that I can really add to this is that Kyla knows what she's talking about. I know we saw this level 5 earlier when we were looking at all the different herds at these lakes, but this is a respawn from her efforts out here on Te Awaroa. I've not been back here since she recorded the guide, but that is a 239 to 292, and a shot like that is going to put him down, so we'll go and see, but I mean, this is the lake that she mentioned being her favorite. It's up here in the northeast, and I have never had a level 5 up here, and I don't know how many she shot when she was here, but go figure. One respond as what I believe is going to be a diamond. The rack looks correct to me and he is at 270.3. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I've wanted a 270 fallow for forever. Kylo was here, shot some fallow deer, and a 270 spawns. Like what? What more evidence can I give you that what she's saying works. I mean, she's got 23 diamonds, might as well say 24. I mean, that was not anything I did other than make the shot, but that's really cool. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but that's kind of a little milestone fallow. Like, I was one of the top that 270 mark. I just want to say a huge thank you to Kyla, not only for shooting the fallow bucks that ultimately resulted in this massive 270 diamond spawning, but also for all the information and advice in this guide. 
as I mentioned, I certainly did not know everything there is to know about fallow deer hunting on Te Aoroa, but after editing the guide and everything, I definitely do feel a little more well first, and I don't know what else to say. I mean, a massive 270 diamond, a rare along the way with this little piebald, it definitely works. And as Kyla was talking about, she does it on Xbox, you know, 20 plus diamonds, 2,000 kills, without even having the tripod. So you can do it even without the fancy setups. But as she mentioned, if you guys are killing diamonds or rares, feel free to let us know in the comments. We love to see that kind of stuff. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave those down there as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this guide. So thank you to Kyla for joining. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.